so good evening today we are going to see the problems that is of exercise 3 uh, of uh, unit number 2 so now in this uh, we have to so we have these three problems so first problem we have to draw sfd bmd second problem uh, we have to go for loading diagram and draw bmd and third also actually i have mentioned here draw sfd and bmd but actually this is uh, nothing but uh, we have loading diagram and bmd so we have this as loading and bmd loading and bmd so now we will see one by one these problems so we have first problem so now we have to take moment about a0 so this total load we are going to add that is at center and we have 10 into 2 and that is at 1 meter and this is again we have 15 into 2 and that is also at 1 meter from both sides and then 10 into 2 into 1 plus 30 into we have 5 so 15 into 2 into 5 because from this we have to measure distance so this is 1 meter 2 meter and 2 meter and then we have minus rb into 4 so we have 30 into 6 for this load and then minus rb into 4 and that is equal to 0 gives us rb value 57.5 kilonewton we will apply fy0 ra plus rb minus 10 into 2 minus 30 minus 15 into 2 ra we will get 22.5 kilonewtons so once we have this reaction then we can plot uh, shear force diagram so we have shear force left of a 0 right of a 22.5 then we have shear force left of B, now D, now why left of D? Because you can see we have here concentrated load. And whenever we have concentrated load, we have left and right. Then 22.5 minus 10 into 2, and we will get 2.5 kilonewton, right of D minus 27.5 kilonewton. Then we have left of B minus 27.5 because no load between D to B, right of B. 27 minus 27.5 plus 57.5 30 kilonewton and at c we have zero so you can see this when we will go for shear force we can take last value and consider load between these one means suppose we are at uh, right of b then we have to find at c then we need not require to consider all loads we are going to consider load that is uh, right of b which is 30 and minus we can have between b to c 15 into 2 so in shear force we need not consider from first here also we can have at d we have 2.5 right or left of d and then we have considered only direct that concentrated load this we are not going to consider 22.5 minus 10 into 2 and then plus 30 need not require to consider all the values consider value at that point and next load and then we will plot it so we have 0 22.5 then we have at this 2.5, it goes 27.5. Then we have same till left of B. Then right of B, we have uh, 57.5, then 30 kilonewton. And then we have 0 over here. So uh, between A to D, we have X to the power 1. Then D to B, we have X to the power 2. And B to C, we have again X to the power 1. So in the same way, we have to plot BMD. So at A, we have 0. At D, we have 22.5 into 2 minus 10 into 2 into 1, 25 kilonewton meter. Then at B, we have 22.5 into 4 minus 10 into 2 into 3 minus 30 into 2. That is minus 30 kilonewton meter. And then at C, 0. Now, in this case, that is at B, we can consider actually this portion also. So if I will consider from right side, then I have directly value. Clockwise, we have so minus. So I can write from here. Bending moment at B, that is equal to minus 15 into 2 into 1. And we will get this value as minus 30 kilonewton meter. So minus 30 kilonewton meter. Uh, so we will now plot a BMD. Then we have uh, here x to the power 0. So automatically we are going to x to the power 1. So this will be x to the power 2. And uh, we have uh, 25 kilonewton meter because we do not have shear force 0 at any of these uh, A to D. So we need not require to consider shear force 0 over here. So 25 kilonewton meter, then we have that is at B and we have 30 kilonewton meter uh, and then we have that is at C. We have this value that is equal to. So here we have value that is equal to 0. So now you can see over here. So we have value over here again. We have x to the power 1. So we have here x to the power 2. So likewise, we have to find the values uh, for bending moment diagram. 
then we have last that is construct loading and draw bmd diagram and we have this uh, given uh, sfd diagram uh, then we are going to be loading calculations so reaction at a we have uh, final uh, shear force minus initial shear force and 7.5 minus 0 7.5 kilo newton then load at b now why reaction at a because it is going up if it is coming down then generally reaction will be considered so we have uh, final we have that value 4.5 so here we have value 4.5 that is mentioned over here so uh, 4.5 minus 7.5 so we have load minus 3 kilo newton now as here we have x to the power 1 that means we have udl between c to d so udl between c to d we have again final shear force minus initial divided by span and we will get this value minus 1 kilo newton per meter then we have load at d as we are going in downward direction so we are going to say it is load so load at e we have 0 minus 2.5 minus 2.5 kilo newton and then we will uh, plot this diagram so we have uh, these distances then at a we have 7.5 kilo newton reaction then at b we have 3 kilo newton then we have uh, c to d udl which is 1 kilo newton per meter and at e we have 2.5 kilo newton in downward direction now by the uh, diagram we are in position to uh, uh, understand that this is cantilever beam so we should have this end as fixed and therefore we are going to find out moment at a and then we are going to get beam is not in equilibrium so moment at a we will get it as 22.5 kilonewton meter clockwise so our fixed end moment should be in opposite direction and that will be anti clockwise and that value we will have 25 kilonewton meter so we have 22.5 kilonewton meter so this is my loading diagram once i know loading diagram bending moment diagram can be easily plotted the left of a is zero right of a minus 22.5 because in bending moment diagram we have to take left and right of the couple then at b minus 22.5 plus 7.5 into 1 minus 15 then we have at c minus 22.5 plus 7.5 into 2.5 we will get uh, minus 3 into 1.5 minus 8.25 uh, at d we have minus 1.25 and then at e we have zero now this value that is uh, at d i can find from uh, right side also i will consider only this portion so if we will consider this portion then we have clockwise and that is minus so 2.5 into 0.5 so minus 1.25 so directly you can consider from right side also it becomes easy in that case then we will plot a bmd then we have this as x to the power 0 so at, between a to b so automatically between a to b we are going to be x to the power 2 in bmd so you can see this x to the power 2 we have sorry x to the power 1 because this is x to the power 0 so we have this will be x to the power 1 b to c also we have x to the power 0 so here also we have x to the power 1 but c to d we have x to the power 1 so we are going to get this as x to the power 2 and we are going to be slope decreasing because our bending moment increasing and then we have uh, at e this is x to the power 0 so automatically we will have this as x to the power 1 so this is uh, Bend, uh, bending moment diagram for the given SFD. Then we have last problem, draw loading diagram and BMD, loading calculation again, uh, final minus initial, so 19.5 as reaction, then UDL between C to D, uh, minus 16.5, minus 19.5, actually this is uh, UDL between A to B, so we have UDL between A to C, and we have this value, minus 16.5 minus 19.5 divided by 6 minus 6 kilo newton meter reaction at c we have 9 minus minus 16.5 minus 22.5 kilo newton udl between c to d we have 0 minus 9 by 2 minus 4.5 kilo newton meter and then we will plot it so we are going to be in this fashion c to d 4.5 kilo newton meter a to c 6 kilo newton per meter and then once i, I am i know this uh, Loading diagram, we can plot bending moment diagram easily. At A, we have 0. So at A, we have 0. Then at C, we have minus 4.5 into 2 into 1. And that will be minus 9 kilonewton meter. So at C now, I have considered from right side and consider this portion only, minus 4.5 into 2 into 1. And this is clockwise, so value as minus 9 kilonewton meter. Then bending moment at D, we have 0. Then we have shear force 0, that is at point B, and we are going to be x equal to 19.5 uh, 
my upon 63.25 meter and maximum bending moment we will get 31.69 kN meter so we will plot it so we have this as 31.69 kN meter then at uh, c we have minus 9 kN meter and again at d we have zero so you can see we have here bending moment increase then uh, slope of uh, curve will be decrease this will be x to the power 2 because here x to the power 1 whole diagram we have x to the power 2 now here bending moment decreases so slope increases again bending moment increases so slope decreases so this is also x to the power 2 so this is our exercise number 2 so we will stop here only thank you